We are here with another Teacher of the Year profile. We're speaking with Marcella Quinn, who is That's one right. of two Teachers of the Year for the Twin Rivers Unified School District. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us where you teach and tell us what you teach. I teach at Grand High School um, and I teach Spanish for native speakers. Okay. Explain what that is, Spanish for native speakers. Okay, Spanish for native speakers are classes designed for students that already speak Spanish or that their parents have spoken Spanish to them and they do not, uh, they do not know how to speak it. They understand it, but they don't know how to speak it. Or that they just came from uh, Mexico or any part of Latin America and their Spanish is so advanced that they wouldn't be a place correctly if they were in a regular Spanish class. Mm -hmm. And so from there do they move on to a different level of Spanish? They, uh, the program at Grand High School, it goes from Spanish 1 for native speakers, Spanish 2, and then we prepare them for the AP Spanish test. Uh, when they, after that third year, they, are, they take the AP Spanish uh, from the college board and if they pass it with a three or higher, they get credits in the university. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. So the, the um, percentage of the population of Spanish speakers in California is growing. It's very high. So how vital is having that language skill? It's very important. It's one of my uh, passions. For me, it is important for our schools and our uh, education system to value the importance of uh, uh, promoting what students already have with them, which in this case is Spanish. It is uh, proven. There has been research done where uh, the results are that if students are well spoken or well educated on their first language, then the second or third language will be much easily acquired because they already have the basis. They, all they have to do is just learn the new vocabulary of the new language. So it is very important that we promote and continue to cater to those students. Uh, a lot of the times, and I see that in my classes all the time, is that what I do not only is teaching them to better speak in Spanish or better write in Spanish, but it's also helping them to understand English. If they just came to the United States, for them to understand how the language works, it, when they understand their own, uh, learning in English is a little easier. That's interesting. Why is that, do you think? Well, because I think languages work pretty much the same. They have the, uh, they all have, when it's talking about syntax or grammar, they all have verbs, they have adjectives. It's just the location of where they are put together. So if they already understand their own, it's just learning the, the way the second language works for them to start learning the second language. So how long have you been a teacher and, and what made you decide to become a teacher? Okay, I have been teaching for, this is my 13th year teaching. Um, what made me wanting to be a teacher? Two things. I came to the States when I was almost 19 years old. And I came to live with my sister and her children. Well, her children were born here, they were teenagers. But uh, I couldn't communicate with them as much. They could understand me, but they couldn't talk to me. And I was only 20 and they were 16 or 17. And I felt that, why is it, that these are my nephews and nieces. Both of their parents are Mexican and they don't, they don't understand me. They cannot really carry on a conversation with me. So I felt at that moment, oh, there is something lacking here. But at that moment, I didn't know that I wanted to be a teacher. Honestly, I didn't know that. It was in time when I started going to college and realizing that uh, I had to take a major. And it's just that I had something inside, probably just like I wanted to help. And I know I wanted to help my nephews and nieces. And I think that's where it, everything started. It was just trying to teach Spanish and especially being a model for those students that uh, a lot of the times, unfortunately, for my, uh, uh, for a lot of Hispanic families, is that they haven't had a chance to have a role model that, or just simply a person that tells them, you know what, you can do it. You can go to college. It doesn't matter if you are, uh, whatever your background, especially now this year, mm -hmm. that there is an opportunity for hundreds or thousands of students to uh, continue their education if they choose to. 
it's all a matter of wanting to. And so I think all of those little things is what inspires me to be a teacher in the past and continues to inspire me now just to continue uh, just being there for the students and letting them know that there is a way if you have the, the will. Do you think it's really more of a lack of confidence and that maybe part of your, your role as their teacher is to, to give them that confidence? There is some of that. There is that lack of confidence, but it's not because, it's not totally though. I really feel that uh, it has to do a lot of with our environment. When you have parents that work all day long and all you have is a TV set, or you have your uh, your neighborhood that uh, don't have any anyone or constantly telling you, you know what you can do it it is doable it's not that hard education is not just for the rich education is for everybody if you want to uh, having someone constantly telling them that it's what's uh, going to help boost that confidence yes but it's not the lack of it it's because it's not there yet no one has input that in, into their minds their hearts that they didn't think that education is possible for them. Because of what I mentioned before, mm -hmm. that there is a, oh, I don't have legal papers, that the education is not for me, I have to work and help my parents, all these things that it had instilled in them just because past generations, that's what it was. But it's not the case anymore. Now, it's a time we have, they have the opportunity to go, they have the, uh, as long as they have people, uh, Yes, they, they might have uh, other non-Mexican to say uh, that uh, you can do it, yeah, you can do it, but they really need to see someone like like themselves. They need to see themselves in, 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 in say, okay, yes, she made it. She came here when she was old. She did, she did look at it, listen to her accent, it's so strong. I mean, but she made it. So they do need models like that, and that's gonna help build the confidence. So you've got all this. You've got some students who need confidence building. What do you do to motivate them? A, a lot of things, but uh, it's a daily thing. It's just telling them from the moment they enter the classroom, and just telling them, you know what? Good morning. How are you? I'm glad you are here. That already start building. Like, oh, she, it's, I'm needed. I'm welcome here. And those little things is what's going to make a difference. Uh, as, time goes by when they do an assignment when they even if they don't get a perfect a but they get a c it's, hey look you got a c it's not an f anymore now it's a c those little things that start building confidence and motivates them to keep trying because they are rewarded it is important to reward those kids to tell them everything a positive reinforcement will always always help uh, the students to try to do better what about you what motivates you to teach I mentioned before the lack of uh, not understanding mm -hmm. my nephews and nieces. That's uh, kind of what motivated me. But also, uh, as I got older and already was in college, ready to uh, to pick a major and choose and see what am I going to do with uh, all these four years of education that I have here, um, it was precisely that. I want to be a model to those kids. I want to be. Uh, I wanted to not just to teach them Spanish, I want to, I, every day when I see those kids and I have 150, 160 students that I see every day, I want them, I want to tell them that it doesn't matter what's your situation, it doesn't matter uh, if you're poor, if you're rich, it doesn't matter if your parents, uh, if you don't have a parent, it, nothing matters. If you have if determination, perseverance, you will make it. And whatever it's needed, it's available. All you have to do is want, want it, like desire to get it. And I want to do that. That's why I teach. That's what I want to be in that classroom. Because I feel that, um, I, 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 humbly I'm saying this, I feel that those kids need me. I truly feel that when, they, when I don't come to school, they would say, why you didn't come? How come you were not here? Uh, were you sick? And it's just, I know that they need me. And I, I'm like, a, I feel, and I want to be, I want to be a pole of strength for them. I really want to support them and guide them. If I can't, hey, this is the way you need to, if you need to apply for a college, check this uh, website. You need to talk to somebody. Here is the uh, resources. Well, congratulations to you.
and, and for all that you've accomplished. We've <laughs> Thank been you speaking so much. with Marcella Wynn, who is one of two Teachers of the Year for the Twin Rivers Unified School District. Congratulations. Thank you very much.